what's up guys so i'm gonna be doing a quick vlog of my day um i just went to go get uh, my truck aligned and now i'm gonna be changing my oil so i mean this is just random vlogging that i'm gonna be doing and uh yeah so i'm going with uh, the royal purple uh 5w30 synthetic um six quarts of that and one quart of this um uh, lucas synthetic oil stabilizer and i usually go with the uh, mopar filter but they didn't have that so uh can't go wrong with the knn as far as um oil i know a lot of people have their preferred oil um that they like to go with uh, i think recommended is 5w20 but i've found that 5w30 quiets down the valve train a lot more um not to mention with this stuff it definitely quiets it down a lot more because these hemis do have uh, loud valve train noises especially after doing your long tube headers so I've found that this stuff works pretty good for me. A lot of people do recommend Redline. And uh, I do want to try it. I've been forgetting to order it because they don't have that near me. So one of these days I'm going to order uh, a couple quarts of that and try that out. And I'll let you guys know how that performs. All right. So I got my truck jacked up. Got a couple of jack stands in place. A towel so the oil doesn't spill out on the concrete and uh a little bit ghetto but i got a bucket but you know everything works uh you don't need that expensive uh oil catcher or nothing like that and just whatever catches it so i don't plan on making this a tutorial but you no know, there's a lot of people out there that don't know how to change their oil so I'm gonna start off by taking that bolt off, letting that drain out for a little while. And then we have, we have the oil filter right there, which is a really bad location. Anyone who has changed their own oil knows as soon as you take this off, it drips all over this right here. But it is what it is. We'll wipe it clean and keep it moving. So yeah guys it's really simple to change your oil for those that go and pay to get their oil changes it's a lot easier than you would think um i always uh take off the cap too i feel like that helps just uh relieve the pressure and uh really get it flowing once you take um the drain plug out so all right guys so really easy just to break it loose now that it's loose, you can really just uh, spin it with your fingers and let it drain out. Might be a little hot because the truck hasn't been sitting for that long. But there we go. Just let all of that drain out. But yeah, guys, uh, I'll give it a little while and let it all drain out. Just give it like a couple minutes. Um, and uh, yeah, just to make sure everything comes out because it does tend to drain out towards the end kind of slow and you just got to be patient. Um, then I'm going to take the oil filter out and uh, let that drain out a little bit. Um, Put the the plug and the new filter back uh oil the filter and uh fill her back up and we'll be done with that all right guys so another thing i learned um when taking an oil filter when putting it on and taking it off you really don't need a fancy tool if you just tighten it with your hands make sure it's tight of course like i've always said always get it nice and snug but never over tighten anything that goes for anything I mean, of course, make sure it's torqued down good, but just never over tighten. This should really only be tightened uh, with the strength of your hand. You don't need no fancy tool and make it like impossible to get off. Now, when you obviously it's not leaking, as you can see, it hasn't leaked since my last oil change. And when you go to take it off, 
um, you should be able to take it off just like you put it on with the strength of your own hands. You see that? And uh, it comes right off. So that is messy. That's the only bad thing. See, really bad design by uh, these Ram trucks. It's just all in the way. Anyways, I'll finish taking this off. The oil is still kind of hot. There it is, guys. We'll just let that keep draining out. And, uh, all right, so we will now just wipe everything clean. Just uh, clean it up a little bit. Make sure everything's clean. And then I'm going to oil up my filter and uh slap that thing on put my drain plug in it's still dripping and uh refill it all right and now here's what you do guys you're gonna want to oil this up a little bit just stick your finger in there that clean oil just put a little bit of that around it and uh it's really all it takes guys it doesn't take too much them in there too so i'll go ahead and put this in all right so now we're just pouring in the oil got a little towel to cover it just in case i drop any there goes the sixth quart of oil Last quart is this uh, Lucas oil stabilizer. You can see how thick that stuff is. All right guys, so we're just gonna check the oil level now and just make sure it's good. Yep. All right guys, so we're good to go here. I'm gonna go ahead and crank it up. And uh, that's how you change your oil. I really didn't plan on making a tutorial on how to change your oil, but I know uh, there's actually, you'd be surprised. There's a lot of people that don't know how to change their oil. Maybe their dad's not around. Maybe their dad hasn't taught them. So if this video helps out at least one person, then hey, I'm happy. All right, guys, so I'm going to end this video with a quick session at the skate park. Uh, I already recorded it, so I'll show you guys a couple clips uh, here shredding it at the Durham Skate Park. So. Oh yeah.